Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with the next installment <laughs> of the May Mystery Mayhem Junk Journal Challenge and today um, I am going to be making a pull tab, pull tab pocket. I chose these in the last uh, May Mystery Mayhem Junk Journal Challenge video that I did. I pulled a pull tab pocket. I need to use napkin or tissue, uh, use of fabric, and paper flowers. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I did pull out a couple of the Carolina Wren. I have this um, paint chip that we can possibly use. I have this vintage card from Current that um, was part of my... Mimi's So Darn Cute Vintage Kit that I'm using for this. I have this square that I had attached this piece of material to, or a piece of fabric. And I do have this piece of fabric, a couple pieces of the Cat Who Brought Down the House <laughs> by Lillian Jackson. Um, it's one of my, the Lillian Jackson books are some of my favorite books to use to make journals because they the pages fit in so well I do also have a couple of canceled stamps so um, so these are going to take care of my napkin my fabric my paper flowers and then because I am not quite sure where I want to put this in my journal um, I am actually going to attach my fabric to a piece of the um, the book and because then I can take and I can glue this down onto a page and it's going to be fine. Now my um, journal pages are six inches wide. It's actually a pretty good um, yeah it's they are six inches I want to make sure <laughs> yeah so um, I can use this whole page no problem and be able to use it in my my journal so the first thing I'm gonna do is um, decide let's see so I'm going to to I want to use this pocket and then I want to make it into a pull tab so what I what to me, what that means is there's a rounded or a square or something little place that your card, when it goes in, it actually goes into and locks kind of into that spot. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut myself my little... If I didn't have fabric, I would just go ahead and um, use my three quarter or my one inch pull punch. But I'm I have to. I'm using fabric, so I'm going to go ahead and come over to my saw machine and sew around this. I have it on zigzag. And when I get to the part where the pull tab is, I'm going to turn it and I'm going to have my zigzag literally go around the edge best I can. I should have used a larger zigzag, but that's okay. Okay, and then we're going to go along. So, um, when I'm making embellishments ahead of time so before I'm ready I'm not making them in the journal sometimes I will attach them to paper like this because it just makes it so much easier to attach to um, the journal so if I'm working with a playing card um, anything that's a little that's going to be harder to put into the journal then I may attach it straight onto paper. And then all I'm doing is gluing paper to the paper. 
of the journal. So I have chosen my pages. Um, I haven't put put the journal together yet because I haven't mysteriously I have not chosen cover yet with my um, and I'm glad because I, I put the cover little piece of paper aside so that um, I could kind of get an idea of how big I needed it and I've decided I need a pretty good size spine so I'm actually going to reconstruct my the book that I chose to make my cover okay so here I have my pocket and it's just um, attached to the paper go ahead and cut it you could rip it cut it however you want to to do this So basically, I have a paper pocket with a fabric front. Okay, so there's my, my fabric. And we can throw this away. Now I need... I'm cutting around this because that will make it easier to cut out my... Um, flowers. Okay, so here's my pocket. We are within the one, two, three, four, five inch. So that's no problem. And we'll be able to just attach it um, to a page that we've chosen in the journal. Okay, so we'll just bring it in and glue it when it's when I'm ready. I'm I'm trying to make some of my um, my things you know and I think I'm it's probably gonna go on this page anyway there's my three signatures they're ready to get put in once we know what we're doing <laughs> okay so I have my current card and um, what I'm thinking is that we can take our our little bird so we have our California Wren, and I'm going to go ahead and fussy rip around it. I'm going to hold my finger over the bird, over his beak, so that we don't pull off onto him. Okay, then I'm going to come down, and we've got some really some yellow flowers looks like forsythia probably okay so there's and we'll come and come back up on this side we've used a couple of the American goldfinches in this journal already from this napkin and I keep putting napkin back in because we still had pieces, good pieces of the napkin left. Um, so, so there we go. So now we'll go ahead and grab this one where I have the top is on it so that I can use the bottom. Okay, this is my Tombow Mono liquid glue. Um, I, I still really like this glue. I learned about it from I'm a Cool Mom Jessica. She uses it for everything. Um, the only thing that I do different is I love the bottom of this. It makes it so that I get to use pretty much every last drop. Come up, make sure that we're... Okay. So I call this dry decoupage. And go ahead and put it down. And you know, glue is just a matter of preference. We so many of us like 
different glues for different reasons. I use a variety of glues. Um, I really like Fabric Tac for um, for some projects, for some parts of the projects, things that need to dry really fast, things that I would probably normally use a glue gun for, but um, you know, if I have metal in the situation, like when I'm making the the flat paper clips, um, I like to use the fabric tack instead of the. Um, sorry, I gotta get a baby wipe here. Um, instead of the hot glue because I don't want to burn my fingers. And you guys, I don't, I kept forgetting to turn my glue gun off and I went through like three glue guns in a couple of months. And so, um, in this kind of, for crafting like this, if I'm just making a project and I have my glue gun out, that's fine. But having it on all the time, I was, I would forget and leave it on. So it just, I'm seeing if I can get some of the glue off from around the outside of this. Because it will, it will dry shiny. And I really would rather have it matte. Okay. So there is my little California, or Carolina Wren. And, um on top of the, the vintage card from Current that was in my, my kit. So um, now we can do the same thing with the paint chip and maybe put the bird down here. And um, I think that that would be, be awesome. So let's do that while this one's drying. We'll come over here and We'll do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and fussy rip. Again, holding with my left hand as I go around the bird. And on this one, I'm going to go all the way to the edge. I'm going to leave the flowers and come all the way down, all the way back up. I think it'll be kind of fun that he looks like he's trying to be friends with this fake bird. <laughs> okay. So. Of course, you could put him up here. This is called pesto paste. So I don't really need the word. I kind of like him up there. Because out of, like, if he's a tag... This is what you're going to see. Now let's see how well this particular brand of paint, because, you know, paint chip actually is paint on your paint chip. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to be able to put this all around. Okay. I'll come in with him. And lay it down. Okay. Now when you're using doing stuff on a paint chip, you do want to pay attention because the paint will come up sometimes. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and Come in from here. Okay, so that turned out good. And this just gives you another way and another tag. So, and this was a paint chip that I actually got because I was checking for a green color. Just happened to have this cute little bird, and I'm not going to use this particular paint after all. Okay. 
And sometimes we mess things up. But it's okay because we can cover that. And let's get the real baby wipes. So the baby wipes that I bought this time didn't have a top to be able to um, keep them nice. It was like a refill pack. And so um, I, I got one of these single flip top containers for a dollar at the Dollar General. And I'm using that and we'll see how, how they last. Um, they are alcohol free, which is important because I do also use them like on my rubber stamps and stuff. So, okay. So there's that. Now, um, we needed to say you didn't make your, your pocket out of, um, fabric and you wanted to still you wanted to use fabric you could go ahead and make a fabric tab okay very simple fabric tab Find something to cover up the mess up of the bird. Gotta have the top on or the bottom doesn't work. Okay, so I had this little guest check piece up here just waiting for a place to be. Okay, so I have folded it to get a little bit of a, a ruffle here. And I'm just going to come in with my stapler and staple it. Okay, so there, that gives me uh, a tag. And then we can come in and add um, something to the back of it. You know, whether it be a note paper or some coffee dyed paper or something, but that gives us that. How are we doing here? It's still not dry. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, so we've used our fabric, and this would go like this. So we're going to go ahead and do a paper flower right here. But first I want to add this butterfly to help with the paper, with the tab. I think it'll be cute. And Okay, so I've added this. So this could, right here, this could be the pull tab, but I'm also going to add my paper flowers right here. So let's go ahead and move these out of the way. And um, we're going to need some. They will fly all the way across and land on my shirt or on the floor. So I'm holding, I'm using this so I can see. But this is a thicker paper. It's not like your regular I mean, this is a nice paper. You could use this to make tags right out of this. Very nice paper. Okay, 
So that gives us these. Okay, so we're going to need our Aileen's. This is what I like to use for my fluffy flowers. Come up to the top. I'm just going to put a little puddle up here <laughs> when it comes out. A little puddle of glue. and um, I believe you can still get Aileen's sometimes at Dollar Tree in the little tiny bottles. I haven't been in a while, you guys. Um, I just haven't had the time. So we're going to put a couple of these fluffy flowers out here. Okay, so there. Now, um, if this was like a playing card, you could actually staple down the bottom paper and then build your flower on top of it that will work I, I did that on the I did that on a playing card in here so then you just go ahead grab your next flower fold it up around the end grab some more glue put it down you could do this with um, like magazine music paper, of course, any type of scrapbook paper, you even like some of the scrapbook papers that the color's great, but the print isn't so great. Um, you could use those and, and make your little fluffy flowers with those. I do like using book paper myself, but I think they're, they're fun. If you have a different flower, of course you can use a different flower um, punch this one I got at Target several several years ago it came with in a pair and I also got the the flower that I use for point to make poinsettias okay so ran out So you can do like four or five. I'm going to add some glue here. That'll just help the um, the bling. Yeah, there's there's the bling. And this is I'm going to use this. This is the faceted bling that they have at Michaels in the dollar fifty section now in front of the store comes in several colors. I love it because it is actually a faceted hole. It is not a bling. So it, you're not going to lose your you're not going to lose your bling. <laughs> Just... <laughs> okay. So there's my fluffy flowers. There's my napkin. This is my use of fabric. And now we have a pull tab pocket. So it'll sit in here and pull out. This is the pull tab, okay? So, and then I also have place I can write on the back. And on the front, I'll be able to add some words or a sticker when I'm ready to, um, you know, to figure out what it is exactly I wanted to say in that space so um, there's that you know I just think it needs my pocket needs something as well so let's see I'm really having trouble with my left thumb and Okay, so there we can put that. And you know, we didn't get to use this, but I'm thinking I want to use this for the thing that I make to go in the pocket for the belly band and that it will stick out of the um 
out of the journal. So I'm thinking that for that. Um, let's see. Well, you know what? If I if I just go ahead and staple this on, and I like to do double staples because to me that means it was on, you know, kind of makes it look like it was on purpose. There we go. And now we have a little tiny place to put something, you know, an escape. So that can go there. And then this will go onto my journal in on a page. And that is my pull tab. So using the napkin, paper flowers, use of fabric, we've made that and this. So, okay, so let's get some stuff out of the way. We still have that to use. We have some paper flowers okay so we used our we made our pull tab pocket we used our napkin or tissue we made paper flowers that's part of the pull tab and we had a use of fabric here we used it there and here we used it for our pocket I may actually go around and distress the outside of this. Um, I'm not sure. It's going to depend on where it goes in the journal. So next we have to go ahead and pick our next thing. So let's see. This can go in. We still have a napkin. But, I, you know, no, we don't. I used all the birds. Napkin is done. We don't need to use that anymore. We have made our pull tab pocket. Okay, so those go there. Paper flowers, use of fabric can go back in. These are the ones that I still can't do because we don't have it finished. Okay, so these are things that can go on it. And so this is the May Mystery Mayhem Junk Journal Challenge. And I am going to go ahead and this is the mystery part. You put what you're going to make in here and draw. So let's go ahead and draw. And we have the cover. So our very last thing is going to be a lace pocket. So we have the cover is what we are going to make and oh let's go ahead and this is the mayhem mayhem okay here's our mayhem cover cover okay our cover is going to have bling and paper flowers, it's going to be a use of fabric. That'll be interesting with some stenciling and a doily. Okay, so there's our lace pocket. Put these in here. Okay, so our cover, our cover will have a use of fabric, a doily, paper flowers, bling, and stenciling. Okay, so that is going to be my next May Mystery Mayhem Junk Journal Challenge. I want to thank you for joining us today for our um, pull tab pocket where we used a napkin, paper flowers, bling, and fabric. And we actually made an extra tag as well. And I hope you are enjoying this. I hope that you've maybe even checked out our Facebook group, 
May Mystery Mayhem Junk Journal Challenge. We have over a hundred artists in there and you would be amazed with what they are doing with this little fun game and challenge. Find something to celebrate every day. Thanks for being here at the Messy Desk. Don't forget to subscribe and have an amazing day. Talk to you soon. Bye.